The name of this game is Nigerian Chicken Stew. Oh my God, this is going to be good. So let's get into it. Hey, it's uh, Glenn the Ball Chef, and tonight we're going to do something a little bit unusual. I don't know if a lot of you people know, I've spent a lot of time in Sub-Saharan Africa, and I've only done one video on African food. So I was in Lagos, Nigeria back in 1985, and I decided to try some Nigerian food. I'm going to put together a Nigerian chicken stew, which is just out of this world. I tell you right now, it is pretty spicy. Uh, you can cut back on the uh, peppers if you want. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of the Nigerians like to use bone chicken. I went with a uh, boneless uh, chicken thigh and uh, it really came out quite good. So let's get this ball rolling and uh, make this video. All right, here we go. We're taking up a bunch of Roma fresh tomatoes. Look how red those are. Oh my God, those are fresh. And we're in the middle of December. I don't know where they came from, but they look good. And we're gonna put these on a pan because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roast these. We're gonna put some garlic on there. Got some Scotch bonnet peppers. Got some red bell peppers and we're gonna we're gonna roast these in the oven why because it's gonna give this dish a really nice smoky flavor doll this up with a little bit of olive oil helps the uh, process preheated the oven broil high now we've got our chicken thighs we put some flour in there everything organized and then we're gonna flavor this up with some curry powder I would say about a half of a tablespoon not much and we're just gonna mix this up with our hands of course after I mix this up I'm gonna thoroughly sanitize my hands that's very important but we just want to make sure that the chicken is completely mixed with the flour and I think we just about got it so now we'll proceed to the next step. We've got some of we've got some uh, vegetable oil. Just put it on high. We're gonna put that in there. Let it bring it up to heat, and then we're gonna start putting in our breaded chicken, one piece at a time. Oil could be a little bit hotter. As you can see, it's starting to bubble a little bit. Should have waited. Didn't want to burn it, but that's the way it goes sometimes here on YouTube. Can't take back your mistakes, but it should have been higher. That's all right. I can see it boiling. It's boiling. It's going. It's going just fine. We're going to brown these boneless chicken thighs off. And I know that there's Nigerian grandmothers out there that are going like, Good God, this guy doesn't have any clue what he's doing. We always use drumsticks, or we always use this. Throw an onion in there, and then a scotch bonnet pepper for flavor. Now that we have taken and... Cooked, or should I say roasted, our peppers. Oh my gosh. Threw one on the floor there. Throw it on the floor. There's no one minute rule around here. Or one 30 second rule it goes right in the trash. Now I'm going to put in my tomatoes. Nice and cooked off. Probably not the most, well, maybe I'm a little clumsy. I don't know. We're just, well, when they got away, at least it didn't go on the floor. At any rate, Get all the peppers, garlic, hot peppers. This is spicy. You know, you can you can dull this thing down. I mean, you don't or dial it down. You don't have to go with a, all these Scotch bonnet peppers. But as far as I'm concerned, if it ain't hot and spicy, I probably have no interest in it. So we're gonna put all this into a blender and get that last little crumble out there. 
Got a couple more tomatoes there. A little bit more browned off garlic. It's gonna give that smoky flavor. So everybody's gonna look into this stew recipe for. I'm gonna add one cup of water. See if I can figure out uh, how to get the one little tin of tomato paste into this blender. Looks like I got it in there all right. Get this top. This goes on there somehow. Let's see. It goes on like that. Yeah, there it goes. Now we're going to start blending this up. Now we're making up some sauce. We're making sauce. Look at that. It's coming along. Look at it. It's grinding up. It's looking good, folks. Shake it around. Make sure we get all of that goodness completely ground off. Turn it off. And now our chicken is starting to brown off nicely. We're going to take this out of the pan piece by piece. Probably could have cooked it a little longer. If I was to do it again, I would have. But just fried chicken. Off screen, I really detailed out and got all the little goodies out of the bottom. Um, but, you know, I'm getting some of them out right now. I just don't think it's worth putting all that up. So now we're going to go to the next step. Actually, we'll have a clean pan for this. Is it I now throw in all of that delicious tomato, ginger, curry, and then throw our chicken back in there. And now we're going to let this boil and just kind of stew for about 45 minutes and let everything go in there. Doll this up with a little bit of salt, not much. Probably a tablespoon. So, I don't know. The smells coming off this are incredible. Really, really smells good. Just kind of bowling along there. I'm going to hit it up with some more of this curry powder. Put a lot of ginger in there. I don't know if you noticed that when I was blending that up. Well, that ginger, curry, garlic, onion. Mm, mm, mm. What a sauce. What a sauce. His thighs are looking nice. They're absorbing all of that delicious juice. Now we're just going to finish this off with a half an onion and another bell pepper. And let this stew for about another 25 minutes until all the vegetables become soft. And we're going to have something really special here, folks. Really something special. Now that it's all cooked off, we give it one last stir. You can see how much it's thickened up. And now we're going to be ready to take this to the tasting table. Folks, there it is. The Nigerian chicken stew. Oh my gosh, let's give this stuff a bite and see what it is. I've got it on some nice balsamic rice. And that ginger, curry, that's certainly in your grandmother's too. At any rate, thanks for stopping by. Hit my uh, subscribe button if you like the content that I'm putting up. And give me a like. Thanks for watching, and as always, bon appetit!